Toledo, and from where we got dropped off on the bus, we've got two very long escalators. Sure beats climbing stairs. The city's up here on top of a hill, which was a good spot for defense. There's, there were walls around the city. Uh, looks like they need a new roof over there. And this river is the same river we saw in Lisbon. There it is. And here's a water wheel. We're in the main square of Toledo, or Toledo as they say it. Another group of school kids, always. Over there we have the Golden Arches. This is a store that has ham. Look at those ham sandwiches. And this is called a Hornazo. It's typical of Salamanca. There's some sausages, and look at the hams. <laughs> and souvenir shops. It's 10.30 in the morning, and there are delivery trucks everywhere. These are basically pedestrian streets, and the delivery people go right up them, and you have to get on the one-foot sidewalk to avoid them. Now they're going to squeeze past that truck by a couple of inches and on up the street. Personally, I think they should make the deliveries earlier in the morning, heading down the street to the cathedral. Guns down here. The bishop's palace over here, and there's his private entrance to the cathedral over here. Door knockers way up high. That was four people on horseback. 13, 1400s. Down here is for people on foot. It's the front of the cathedral. I think this was built in 1612. Greco's son built the town hall here, and over here is the entrance to the bishop's palace. Here's the courthouse, Palazzo de Justice. That's a Moorish window style. This is a huge cathedral. Look at this beautiful pipe organ. Spend a few bucks on this. They're known for their gorgeous stained glass windows too. This is just a few. The cathedral is a big church. Church of the Bishop. Church of the Bishop. Cathedral is originally Greek. We found just Cathedra. So yet, Cathedra is the name of the chair where the bishop sits. And it was finished, as you can imagine, just a few weeks. Approximately 14,000 weeks later. <laughs> it took 267 years. Oh. It was finally finished in 1493. Well, this is an altarpiece in a chapel. This took seven years. It represents the life of Christ. And here's the birth. And up at the top, the crucifixion and everything else in between. The churches face east, which is the same way that Jews um, orient their uh, synagogues and temples to Jerusalem. Beautiful rose window.
is a gift of King Carlos the first. Organ still works. It was built in Germany. The choir, and there's two more organs in there. Pulpit here. And they probably use it because it's got a microphone. There's one on the other side of this chapel too. There's a thousand people buried in this cathedral. These are the heavily carved uh, choir stalls. Beautifully done. Here's one of the organs. What a beautiful window. Something like 1700 stained glass windows. Beautiful wood carvings. Not wood, it's stucco. Into the sacristy that was uh, renovated just last year. It's done by Luca Giordano, an Italian. Spent 200 days painting it. In the center is God in Hebrew. The was just opened a month ago. The sacristy is where the priests put on their garb. And this is a dressing room, robing room. Made in the 1600s, there's four of them representing the four continents at, that were known at the end of the 1600s. It represents America. There are 18 El Greco paintings in this room. disrobing of Jesus before the crucifixion in here since 1579. In this painting, we have a Spanish conquistador about 1500 years after the crucifixion. It's a piece of paper and there was no paper in Palestine at that time. So that's how he signed it, and he had to be visible. Huh. So it's got his Italian name, and it says that he made it. The head is too small for the body. The hands are large, and the fingers are together, which is typical of his style, we learned yesterday. Here's Mary Magdalene down here in the corner. And notice the hand on this person has also got the fingers together. And El Greco did this too. Look at the size of that hand. Way out of proportion. The one where we are right now is the uh, Exactly, the one of the archbishops. Hmm? Oh, remember I told you? Cathedra, the, the chair of the bishop. Here you are, Cathedra. That looks uncomfortable, but it's a coffee Well, we already mentioned we were talking about Greco. Greco, before coming to Spain, went to Venice, northeastern Italy, where he got different teachers. One of these great teachers that Greco had was Titian, the best painter of the red coloring history. <laughs> anyway, so, no, no, and it's a painting, it's not a photograph. Oh, by the way, what happens to the velvet when it's touched and touched and touched several, several times? It gets shiny. It gets shiny. So look at the armchair, or look at the bottom part of the chair as well. Don't you see how it shines? It's the real, real effect. This year. I also love the couple of hands and the eyes of this Pope, Paul the, Paul the Third. All right, the Raphael. <coughs> this is a Van Dyke. This is Christ getting whipped. 
My Bernardo Strozzi must have been in the famous Strozzi family of Milan. And this large painting is by Titian.